Good evening guys, I have my cup of tea with me and I decided I feel like making a video for you guys and this is a video on image dynamics okay so basically how to make your image stand out once you've modified your car that's only half of the job done okay there's a lot of people out there that, that digitally modify cars um, and then they leave it as that but um, in regards to my work what I like to do is I like to modify my car finish it and then look at everything else in the picture but the car and think right how can I change that how can I make it stand out more how can I you know give it my sort of personal element uh, to my pictures you know I've, I've got maybe 70 75 pictures in my uh, portfolio and all of them contain some sort of image dynamic that makes the work uh, unique to me and I want you guys to kind of do the same thing uh, instead of what everyone else is doing by just modifying the cars and then that's it you want to look around the image itself and see how you can improve it right so guys this is a 370z um, it's the same image that we used in a previous tutorial okay uh, to do the alloy wheels tires and the suspension and it's actually a saved workflow um, of that specific tutorial now what we did is obviously we um, added a little bit of darkness to the tires then we added the front wheel then the rear wheel then the suspension now guys this is something I wanted to show you I mean it should have come under the graphics tutorial but it is slightly dynamic obviously what I've done is I've removed the badges just to make it look a bit more uh, smooth okay and I've added this graphic now as you can see with the problem with this graphic is it's kind of square and um, some people are afraid of this tool here which is the smudge tool and think it ruins images guys it does far from ruining images it actually saves your life when it comes to images like this I just want to show you this guys you can actually hold on, if we got a graphic image selected you can actually smudge the image to follow the contour of the car itself if I just lower the brush there and um, don't be scared of this uh, tool guys it's very useful and it will get you out of a lot of trouble with graphics because um, sometimes you can't find graphics or you, you can't make them big enough for what you want to do um, so this smudge tool will come in useful and you can spread it over and it will give the paint a, a cool sort of unique effect as well guys don't think it's just to hide what you're trying to do it's actually there to um, you know give the paint a sort of unique uh, blending kind of effect and as you can see it's giving like a swirling effect to the to the car itself um, which is giving it again a sort of dynamic a lot of people like to fit the image um, outright I like to smooth things in and and add a sort of element to my work okay so if we sort of look out that doesn't look too bad guys and and this is the kind of thing I'm trying to get at guys is you've got to improvise and use the tools that Photoshop gives you um, to make your work stand out and improve so as you can see I've added the image just uh, as a little sort of you know sort of flourish because the, the car was looking quite plain for this tutorial so I wanted to liven it up just to give a bit more emphasis on what I'm trying to uh, ex explain to you guys here so as you can see that looks pretty sweet now guys um, I also added an Audi badge just for joke <laughs> okay, just to give it a little bit but I think we're gonna delete that because I just put that in for no reason right so guys <clears throat> this car is obviously far from finished and um, but what I want to get at is just say this is a finished product okay and this car is finished that would probably be what most people would do but for me I like to look at how I can improve the car uh, image on a whole so now I'll look at everything except the car now if we look here in the background it's quite vibrant and warm and then the road is quite drab and sort of plain and dull and I'd like to get some of that vibrance into this layer okay now I know the road layer is on this car layer because the suspension is the one that has the top part as you can see the road overlaps on here so we'll deal with that later so what I want to try and get you guys to do is actually look at these images and do what we're doing now so I want to add some of this vibrance so all I can do is select the car layer and then just select soft light and as you can see it adds that vibrance to the image that wasn't there before and to fix the road we set, select the suspension layer okay that's fine the settings are fine we zoom in <coughs> get our um, brush a bit bigger uh, a bit smaller than that guys and then you just uh, select your source and you start painting in the road and it's just giving your your image that dynamic guys and, and that's what I'm talking about just to make it stand out a bit more than it would originally if you didn't touch it okay 
Right, that's good. And let's just go to the other side. And you'll see what I mean once we zoom out, how much of a difference it actually makes um, when you do this kind of thing. So, and keep resourcing, guys. When you're using a clone tool, keep uh, changing the source, okay? Because um, it, the, the crosshair that appears when you do do the source, it follows uh, the contours, okay? So if your contour goes off the page or goes into a part where the car is, it's going to do the same. Okay, guys, so as you can see, that picture looks pretty good now, okay? And this is what I mean by dynamics. Uh, from what we had before, which was quite boring and depressing, okay, we've actually changed into something uh, beautiful, as you can see, okay, <clears throat> the before and after. Now, another thing you can do is called the crop rotation, um, which I love to do to my work. Just crop the whole picture and then grab the handle and rotate the picture 45 degree angle, right click in it and go to crop. And as you can see, we've got kind of this funky sort of photograph effect. Um, and as you can see, it adds some sort of dynamic to your work. And then maybe you can get a signature down here, uh, a signature that you can create and add that to your work as well. <clears throat> Another thing you can do, guys, is if you're um, working for a magazine um, and they, it's a specific part for a sponsor or something, obviously adding a dynamic like this will help improve the actual way that the image looks. So if I just grab the magic wand tool here and just delete this, um, the, the, the white from this uh, logo, you'll see that it does look like a professional promotional type <clears throat> image. Now there's a bit of white there, so what you're gonna wanna do is just change it to either lighten or darken, it doesn't matter. And there you go, and, and that looks, you know, professional. And that's what you want to try and get into your work. You want to try and get that professional sort of look um, into your images. And that's what's going to make your images stand out from other people's. Because everyone does, uh, um, in, we're within the digital modification um, uh, a community, if you like, they're all going to do it. But you need your work to stand out, guys. So concentrate on doing things like that. Another thing you can do is you can uh, create a new layer and then rename that Desaturate. Okay, and then what you can do is put a mask around your car. Obviously, do it neater than I'm doing. Do it literally to the, to the contours of the car as well. Um, make it as neat as possible, and you'll see why in a minute, and you'll see which effect I'm going for now. Okay, and this is called the um, desaturation with color look, and um, <clears throat> it does look pretty cool. So once you've got your selection, make, make sure you select inverse, okay? So that allows us to paint on the outside. Select a brush tool, put your brush out quite big, Okay, and because um, we got a desaturate layer here, the reason we call it desaturate is because we're going to add a desaturation or a saturation uh, fill onto this. So now when we paint, it desaturates the whole image. And as you can see, it's obviously not affecting the car. Now, as I mentioned before, guys, when you do your mask, make sure it's uh, perfectly on the contours of the car. And um, you'll see the kind of effect we're going for here. And, and this looks pretty good as well. And again, if you put your signature down, it gives it that sort of professional, unique look um, to, to sort of identify your work. You don't want to be the same as everyone out there, okay? You want, you want to add something that people will recognize and be like, oh, that's his work. That's the kind of thing he does. And, and that's what's going to make you, um, you know, noticed in this kind of thing. And again, like I said, if you are working for magazines and they're asking you to do things, uh, like we did previously with the EVAC sponsor for the Springs, you can get a really good professional look if you just take some time and, <clears throat> and experiment with what Photoshop has to offer. Okay, so I'm not going to do it perfect, but you can see the kind of look we're going for. Okay, and remember guys, you need to desaturate these parts as well. So, you know, get, get your paintbrush and desaturate these areas as well within the windows. You want to make it professional. Every little attention to detail, guys, is what's important um, when you're doing this, okay? See, that's, that looks pretty good. So that's what I'm talking about, image dynamics, you know? And, and you just got to experiment with what Photoshop offers because Photoshop has uh, so many settings um, and half of them, like, you know, are undiscovered by people and they do look good. So, you know, make sure you do that. Uh, experiment with it. And then even just like, you know, just go to filter and render or like filter and sketch or stylize, you know, and and solarize. What does that do? Okay, that does that, you know, and just play around with the different images. See what you get. But what I'm trying to get across, guys, is just play around with your work. 
try and give it some sort of effect you know try and give it a uniqueness to you and that's what's going to get you to go far in this type of industry okay guys so you know i hope this has helped and um if, obviously again as always if you have any questions or any um requests or anything like that please just um email me leave your comments um if you want any tutorials please let me know and i'll do my best to um get them up for you um, and you know keep at it guys it's, it's a good and fun thing to do and like I said when you get really good and competent with Photoshop you can take it to the next level and start working for magazines um, and you know who knows where you'll end up so you know I hope you enjoy the videos um, stick around I'm gonna have a load more videos posted and then um, you know I'll see you next time appreciate it thank you